Migrating your business to a new software tool may seem a bit daunting at first, so we've created a few video lessons to help TurboLister users get up and running as smoothly as possible. Let's start by going through the download and setup process. When you placed your order on our website, you created a website account with us. To download the software, you're going to log into that website account by going to 6bitsoftware.com and choosing Login. From here, you'll enter the email address and password you used when you created the account. Once in your client area, you're going to go to Support, Downloads, and click the 6-bit e-commerce solution to start the download. When the download's complete, you'll click it to begin the installation. The installation should look very familiar to TurboLister users. We're simply going to step through the process taking all of the defaults. Sixbit uses SQL Server as a backend database. SQL Server is a very powerful database and it's very reliable, which is why we chose it. This next question allows you to choose an existing instance if you have one or more likely you're just going to check the default and create a new SQL Server database instance on your own. SQL Server is a very powerful program, but that means it's a very large program also. Depending on the speed of your download, it could take a while to download and install SQL Server in the background. When prompted, click the Launch 6-Bit E-Commerce Solution box and then click Finish. The first page you're going to see is the 6-Bit Registration page. Here's where you're going to enter your email address and the license key that came with your welcome email. If you can't find your key, click the link below to go to your 6-bit account page. When finished, hit OK. When the welcome window appears, select your region. 6-bit's a multi-channel tool, so this is where you'll select the sites you want to list on. We'll just choose eBay US. Next, you'll fill in your profile. This is where you sync up 6-bit to your eBay business. We'll start by entering the name of your business. Then you'll enter your eBay seller ID. And follow that by clicking the Authorize button. The Authorize window pulls up an eBay screen that allows you to enter your eBay password. By entering your eBay password, you're authorizing 6-Bit to act on your behalf. You're not actually storing your password anywhere in 6-Bit. 6-Bit will now go out to eBay and retrieve important information like category information, business policy information, seller preferences, and so on. When it returns, you'll notice that 6-Bit has filled out your location, your address, and your email account information that it retrieved from eBay. The only thing left is to set up some of the eBay options. If you're pre-authorized to use strike-through pricing or manufacturer's advertised pricing, then check the Use Discount Pricing box. The Business Policies box will be automatically set based upon whether you have business policies turned on on eBay or not. If you use out-of-stock control on eBay, in addition to enabling it in the eBay settings, you should check the box here. And finally, if you're opted in for managed payments, check this box. When finished, click OK. The next window is designed to help you get started. You can choose to watch our Getting Started video, or you can go directly into importing your data. TurboLister users have two options for importing data. First, 
they can import the last 30 days of listings directly from eBay. The other option is they can import from a TurboList or CSV file. The advantage from importing from a TurboList or CSV file is that it's not limited to just the last 30 days of listings. You can import any item that you still have recorded in TurboLister. Let's go ahead and show you how to import from a TurboList or CSV file. This is data from our sample test account. It should be fine to demonstrate exporting to a CSV. To export to a CSV, you simply select all of the records you want to export and go to File, Export Selected Items. Choose TurboLister Format CSV File and click Export. You want to make sure you save the file in a place where you'll remember. Before performing the import, we just have to answer a few questions. Finally, there's an option to make 6-bit look more like TurboLister by using TurboLister icons. Check this option if you want to see the familiar icons. Then click Done. 6-bit is now ready to import your CSV file, so go back to where you saved the CSV file and choose it. And it's going to ask you a question. It wants to know if you use the custom label field in TurboLister, and if so, is it unique for each item? In other words, is your custom label field a unique SKU identifier in TurboLister? And we're done. Let's click on the Sell Items mode to see the items we imported. You'll also notice some of your familiar icons. If you chose not to import data during the Getting Started window, you can always use the Import button to import it any time in the future. So now your data is in 6-bit and I'm sure you're ready to dig in. Feel free to look around. There are some differences in 6-bit, but there are also some additional features. I recommend you watch the next video in the lesson where we take a first look at 6-bit for TurboLister users to help you sort it all out.